this is real life. This is stuff I'm going to be selling online. So I have a pile. And then this is nutcrackers I need to put up all the way up high up here. And so I'm done decorating. I got rid of all the bins that I had outside. I had 20 of them. And so I have my little rug from last year from Home Depot. Because I really wanted the truck. And my little rocking horse, or not a rocking horse, but a horse. Wooden horse that I put out every year by the tree. And I'm done. Uh, I was done with decorating the tree a while back. And that was the first thing I did. And I'm actually selling this sign because um, I don't like that the uh, letters are, I thought it was, when I ordered it, I thought it was painted on and instead it, it's like uh, letters that have been stuck on the wood and it's not my favorite so I mean I like it but <clears throat> it was when Magnolia first opened. Uh, online and I bought this thinking it would look like the one that Joanna Gaines has in her home but it was different so I'm selling that I'm keeping it up there for now and I put all my nutcrackers out my little collection of nutcrackers they're all from Germany they're all from Steinbach have to put our our uh, Lionel tray set out. I'm letting my husband do that since he likes this kind of stuff. So we usually put it around the tree. Here's more details of the tree. from different places. Mostly TJ Maxx, Cracker Barrel, Target. Um, where else? I think those are the top ones. Uh, Pottery Barn, like the blue glass, mercury glass balls are from Target. I mean, not Target, um, Pottery Barn. And I thrifted this one, which I think is a Target, but it, it's like a porcelain doll. And um, I thrifted this one, or I went to a garage sale and got that one. And my daughter made this when she was little. It's like a little candy cane. And my Swedish pen pal gave me this like Swedish star, which you'll see that I have two bigger ones here. Because she gave me a set of three and they're di different sizes. But I'll be on my way over there. So here are the bins, empty bins my husband has to put away. So we have clean laundry here. I have an unboxing of H&M that I purchased before Thanksgiving. That they started this, their sale, uh, Black Friday sale early. But I only just got it now. And actually two of my... Uh, items that I ordered were canceled because they no longer had them, which is a bummer. Here is stuff I'm selling. So, like, I have a mess here. So, this I'm selling. Then this pile I'm selling. I'm keeping this, but I don't know where to put it. I, I thrifted this, and it, you know, it could hold ornaments and stuff, but I don't know where to put it. So, I might just sell it. I don't know. And this is how the front came out. So let me light up some lights here. 
Now, this is not an old one. I actually bought this. I wish I could find an old one, but I can never find one thrifting. Actually, when I went to the bins one time, I found one, but the funny story about that is that the girl next to me had part of it and I had the other half. You know, like I think she had the base and I had the tree. So we both looked at each other and without hesitation, I just gave it to her because I didn't want to get into anything. Uh, I, I, <clears throat> I didn't want to get into it with anybody. So I just gave it to her. So this is how the front of my entry is. Um, here's a little sign. And of course, it's always going to be a dream because I live in Florida. No snow for us, no white Christmas. And just these Victorian wooden, they're, they're made out of wood. Um, um, what do you call it? Stands that I found at TJ Maxx. They're adorable. I love them. And actually, this Santa, look at his face. He looks like vintage and i'm surprised i got him at michael's i saw him on the way out and i was like wow he is amazing and pretty tall too and um i got him at michael's i think it was like a really good price too because um he was 60 percent off and I always bring out my Coca-Cola. I, I usually have my Coca-Cola thing here, cart all year round, but I bring them on to the top because of the red. And then I made this uh, a few years back, like a little snow globe almost. And I put it on this cake stand because I like the mix of the green and the blue, I mean the green and the red for Christmas. And then some mercury glass candle holders. I got these lights, the glittery uh, candles. They're battery operated from Michaels. And I'm surprised because they're from Michaels and they've lasted me for years on the same battery. Um, and then um, my little, my three tiered um, server here, I used to decorate and I just have Christmas stuff and a, a bunch of Santas here, you know, and I love these reproduction German Santas made out of paper mache that I bought at Tuesday morning several years ago, it might be 10 years from now, because you can see he's yellowing in the, yellowing in the face, because they it used to be white. <laughs> This is my fa favorite ornament, and I don't even have it on the tree because I'm scared to break it, that it might fall off and break. But we used to have a Jack Russell, and I bought this because of him, and he's no longer with us. But it's a sweet memory of him, and he's just so cute. I actually had to buy this online from England because I couldn't find one here at the time when they first came out. Now I've seen some that you, they sell here, but um, it's a little different, but I like this one. He's actually a um, porcelain made in there. Very nicely made. This I got from last year, Magnolia. Really cute. A little vintage looking Merry Christmas sign that I can't really see with all this stuff. This is one of those nesting um, dolls with uh, Santa. And then this I got this year, I really wanted him. So I'm trying to incorporate a lot more vintage Christmas and I just loved him. And he reminds me so much of my English Bulldog. They have like the same face, but he's really sweet. And I think that was it on here. And then I just have a little camper with the kind of green blue color. And then everything else is just what I always have here. Maybe in the future, I'll incorporate more Christmas here. I just never really change it up here as much. Then the front door, I have another one of these mats. 
I have this vintage uh, sleigh, Christmas sleigh or sleigh, and I added this bow to it with greenery. And I bought this off of a woman on Facebook Marketplace, and I forgot what I paid for it, but she told me it belonged to her husband who had passed away. Um, and it's just sweet the you know that it belonged to her husband when he was little so i believe she told me it might have been from the 50s it's been a while since i bought it and then i have this thing with when the kids were smaller i had these i bought these so they can have a little snow fight in the house during christmas day but I only have one kid left and she's not into playing, um, she's 18 so she's not into having a snowball fight, but I still put it out here in a pail. And then here we have where we keep our stockings. And we have these knit stockings that I got from Amazon I believe. This is before it was... I always fall in love with things before they actually come out of the stores. So I had to buy them on Amazon and now I see them everywhere in TJ Maxx. So I got this set. I really wanted a chunky stocking. Here's an extra tree that my husband said he's going to put outside. It used to be my daughter's, but she's bahumbug right now. She doesn't want a tree in her room. So dog stockings was one here. And then we had to get one for Fiona since she's a new addition. I added to this stand, which is a chalkboard, and I usually put a little Christmas message on there, and um, I haven't gotten to it yet, but yeah, I got this from Hobby Lobby several years ago on clearance. I think I only paid $30 for it, but the original price is over 100 but you know how they always have it high price and then it's minus 50%, but still it was lower than that i think it was like 70 percent this is something i'm selling just because i'm trying to declutter is two bells two bells um you know I'm trying to get rid of big big stuff i had, did sell two big items already and i have still more items for sale so i did take a little chunk maybe 20% of what I had and here's a mailbox from from uh, Magnolia line and target I love it and it's really well made this year I know I don't know what color I know that last year they had the green one this year, I don't even know if they have it, but I got it the year that it's red and I love the red. I'm glad I got it that year because they change the colors every year. And then just a little Merry Christmas sign. Oh, and don't forget the mistletoe when people come in. Oh, I forgot to show you my, my little my little deer made out of, um, you know, straw, whatever you want to call this. My daughter, I mean, my daughter, my dog, every time I take this out, she freaks out, like, what is that? But it's the most wonderful time of the year. Then I have a pair, like, of skis back here. Well, it's not a pair. It's just one ski. It says Merry Christmas on it. I should hang it up, but if I hang up everything, it's just... The walls are just gonna have holes. And then, so then this is what my husband has to take back to the garage. I do have this sign that I have no place to hang it. So I am thinking of possibly selling it. But I love it. It looks like a chalkboard. And then it looks like driftwood. I think it was $80 at TJ Maxx and then but I paid half the price after Christmas. 
so and then the table is not fully done yet let me turn on some lights so here are those Swedish stars and then I put some greenery around the chandelier and a little angel here sorry for the mess my husband uses this as a desk and um, and then here I have my dough bowl and I put greenery and then I put some Ray Dunn ornaments and then this little scoop is new that I bought uh, during Thanksgiving or before that and I like it there and then I always have this deer head from Target I think it's their Opal House um, collection and I always decorate him for the holidays so that little garland on his antlers and then there's a matching wreath on that for my uh, candle abra and, and then we have this right here I love this one better than the one the Christmas tree for sale sign so I like this one because it looks rustic and hand painted and then we come to what I have is like a faux fireplace so I have my my thrift wood Christmas tree here sorry for the wires it's just that I have these little things lit up or well let me light it up so I don't buy a whole village but I really like this one because these are from um Department 56 and I like this one because it has a nutcracker and I have a thing for nutcracker so this is like a nutcracker theater ballet theater thing opera house that's what it is and then I got this from Cracker Barrel it is battery operated so that I can light it up and then this is another apartment 56 that I actually went to a yard sale and got for $10 and it still had its original price. This, this came together because this is the chapel and then the uh, church school. And it's funny because I went kind of to a church school where we had a chapel. It was a Baptist school, even though I'm Catholic or I was raised Catholic, it was behind my house. So my mom put me there. It was a private school. So um, I had a chapel and a school. So it kind of reminds me growing up so here is that and i you know i bought it for ten dollars the original price <clears throat> on the box said it was 70 something dollars so let me light that up let's see if i can get it to light up i think it's lit up oh i think There's one. The other one doesn't. It's not lighting up. I think maybe my husband disconnected it. No, yeah, he probably disconnected it. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, that lights up too. He just disconnected it because he's using his 3D printer, and that's what you hear. He had this in the garage and he brought it back inside. So I'm not happy. But anyway. And then we have this. Um, I usually have this ladder in the in the um, kitchen area, but I, I hung I hung something there. So now we just we have these we have this randomly here because I don't have another wall to put this. But it it stores the um, uh, reindeer blankets, and this is just a ladder for me to climb up here and put my nutcrackers. And there's Fiona sleeping. See how she looks like the Santa? Like that rushed in Santa. Oh, you look so sleepy. Hey, pretty girl. No. And then here is our kitchen nook. And this is where I have a little set up here, a Christmas tree. These light up. And I have this 
cool thing that I got at TJ Maxx because Pottery Barn has one, but it was so expensive. I think it might've been two or $300. And then years later, I found this one and I was like, oh, it's like a Pottery Barn one, but not as extravagant or as expensive, but I love it. Um, I usually put a candy cane in, uh, in, the, in the date we're on. I think we're on the 10th right now, uh, but I have not gone out and bought candy canes. And uh, and then here we have a sign. We're marrying jo Jolly. We've been good all year. Only blank days until Christmas is here. So I still need to write there. And then these reproduction stockings um, that match this skirt. I got it online in some Christmas shop. I can't remember what it is. If I remember what it was i'll link it down below but i love it i still feel like i can put stuff on this tree i have some ornaments i can possibly put on there and the kitchen really doesn't have that much going on just these um towel tea towels and then i have a little tree here on this tray from magnolia's target line and then just a few Santa. I gotta put these away for, for Thanksgiving. Santa cups, Santa helper Santa cups from Ray Dunn. And that's all here, what we have here.